Yeah, so this is Rustan by Taito for the arcade, 1987. And uh, during the title screen, you can see almost immediately a reference to the uh, Conan Barbarian, Conan the Barbarian film from uh, 1982. And you see him sitting on his uh, throne with grey hair. And he says, I used to be a thief and murderer. Otherwise, I could not survive in such difficult times. Sit beside me and listen to my stories of days full of adventure. And uh, yeah, that's a direct reference to Conan the Owl Barbarian. And um, this game was definitely uh, known at the time for, for re you know, a really uh, big jump in the, uh, the style of graphics very sharp graphics and uh, yeah uh, there was it also like one a good uh, control system too yeah it's awesome to play um, I think just watching this video will um, make you into more of a man let alone playing the game it'll uh, right. be just a game it'll be right. ruggedly, ruggedly masculine by the end of uh, just playing it <laughs> It's like, um, it's as hard as Chuck Norris, you know, like you'll be so bear off just from, from watching this video or playing this game. It's definitely <laughs> one of the man, most manly games ever made. There's some pretty cryptic looking um, enemies you're going up against. Yeah, a lot of mythological like, lizard yeah, like creatures like as well. Lizard. Yeah, it's almost okay. like the way I look at it, it's like, yeah, even though it's a, um, it's it's inspired by Conan the Barbarian, it's um, it's almost like a fantasy of that story. So it's a, in a way, it's like a fantasy within a fantasy. Yeah, kind of like Altered Beast, you know. It's um, there's a lot of Greek mythology in it, but it's um, got the back the level design of like Roman times. So it's all a big mix up, mm. like. Mm mashing together but I like well, that it's, oh, it's cool it's all fantasy anyway yeah well you know you're here in the first um, first part of the first level you're yeah, you're just running through the wilderness slaying beasts left right and center but you know there's, there's, different weapons there's here, little yeah. details like if you what if you take notice of the sky from how it looked at the start it's slowly um, turning into sunset so little uh, things like that, oh, but, okay. yeah, a big uh, advance in the graphics at the time. And yeah, here at this the bridge, uh, into the into the uh, next part of the game, you'll see in the background there's these giant um, statues, which are also a reference to Lord of the Rings. If you anyone uh, saw the Lord of the Rings movies, they'll notice those uh, the similarity between those gigantic statues that were the Argonath in um, at the uh, northern border of Gondor the movies but of course this game came out uh, way before the movie was ever thought of so yeah they, the um, the designers were obviously inspired by the by the book itself so I love that it's got like to me that's like almost the ultimate um, combination Lord of the Rings Conan and a really good uh, action <laughs> I know how much you love your slash Conan and Excalibur and you got lucky that shit, years, really. The, um, the glow of the, the, the flames against the, the background, a little mm. detail like that as well. Like you really feel the heat coming off that that flame pit. Bit of arcade uh, power there, maybe. Yeah, bit of arcade graphic wizardry. You wouldn't get that in the Master System version, or maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah. I just played it, so I can't really speak for that. But um, you probably wouldn't. Yeah, I doubt it would. Uh, yeah, I doubt it would have to power that they put into the arcade version but uh, yeah. you just notice here as well that the bats come out every now and again and surround you so it's like a, a time pressure thing you can't just hang around in one spot forever otherwise the, the bats just come out and surround you and just all home in on you but you see so you've got to keep uh, keep things moving and coming up to the first boss room and the way I because uh, I've had a bit of experience with this game, I, I, it looks like I just wiped the boss out in a couple of hits, but uh, the thing to realise there is the bosses can be quite hard if you don't know what you're doing, whereas I do know what I'm doing, 
and I know that, um, that the jumping attacks are about three times more powerful than the ground attacks. So that's the, the trick to um, to slapping the hell out of the bosses in this game. To keep, um, keep jumping and trying to get the air attack and you'll wipe them out in nice. short order. It's and the same then, for yeah, isn't it? I hate second play. level. I, sorry, yeah. I'd hate to say Altered Beast again, but um, it's just there's certain things like that second boss that I killed. I killed it in like two seconds, but if if you don't do that certain little trick, it won't be like anywhere near that fast. And it's like the same with a lot of these old games, you know. Um, you have to do certain moves to get to and find out which ones take off the most damage and stuff. You know, they're not as hard as what they seem. A lot of these older games. You just need to know what you're doing. Yeah, well, they can be hard. You, you know, like, especially in an arcade game, you go in and put your money in and you, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and you have to spend a lot of money to, to find out what to do. Like, you know, if you, you, the game doesn't tell you that you can uh, you can triple your attack power by, by uh, doing a jumping attack, you kind of just notice it um, from experience, you know. So it's kind of, yeah, that's the, the thing with arc, a lot of arcade games, you have to spend the money to build up the, the experience of the game in your own mind. Well, back, in the, and memory. back in the day at the arcades when you had to spend like a dollar, $1 coin to have a go, you know, and you beat somebody, you think you like hit like 18 year old people watching the stream and that now, uh -oh. like you think it gets online if you think the rage and stuff gets bad. You should have seen people at the arcades back in like the 1990s, like 94 oh, yeah. and stuff. When you cost them like two dollars because you beat them, they weren't very happy. Mm. Online, it doesn't cost you anything if you lose, you know. Yeah, I still like to play these games as if I was, you know, putting actual money in, like to, to try and give it the respect that it deserves. Yeah. Yeah, I hate I hate ruining a good game by by just yeah you know, abusing the the um, credit function in main. Yeah, fine. Oh, bad luck there, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm still on my first continue, so I've got um, two lives. Because, yeah, you get you build up extra lives with good points scoring. You know, get on the default setting, you get an extra life every 100,000 points, so... It's enough to see me through to the, uh... At least to the boss of the um, of the second level. Another interesting thing about this game is one of the first um, games to have a, a a blood animation. Like so, certain enemies, you'll notice like those flying enemies, they they spout out a big big splat. Um, big blood splat. Yeah, when uh, when you wipe them out. And speaking of the um, Master System version too, that was kind of controversial at the time. Like there wasn't very much uh, ratings as we have these days. And um, the manual had, had the depiction of the, the harpies and the Medusas. Um, uh, <laughs> the Medusa had a snake body, so she, the, the illustrations in the manual had her breasts, but um, the harpy, oh, yeah. who has legs, <laughs> the the, um, the manual has a full depiction of breasts and pubic hair, which uh, <laughs> wouldn't, um, yeah. Just overall <laughs> a lot better than your average master system <laughs> cover and booklet. <laughs> but here yeah, we go. Then, Crush was, your yeah, enemies. Was, see was see, see them driven <laughs> before you and hear the lamentation <laughs> of the women. <laughs> the item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost my throat big time. <laughs> ah, <laughs> get out of here! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there, I did it, Pete. You owe me 20 bucks. You said 20 bucks. <laughs> PayPal or yeah, eBay. That's old one. <laughs> fine. I'll oh, share your cold in. See, in Australia, the that's the fine. Tasmania. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Beautiful. Shout me a schooner. Chuck a fish on the kebab. Let's do it. <laughs> And I think I'm nearly up to the second level boss, and and again I use the the jumping attack technique as much as possible to take him down. But yep. And splat, there he goes. So um, I've still got a few lives <laughs> left, but I, I left it there. Like I, I eventually died in somewhere in the third stage. So 
Yeah, that's uh, Rastan for for the arcade for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm not sure what's coming Thanks up next showing. because there's been a bit of a reshuffle in the program. I th hopefully, we're going back to Mario Kart, but I'll just have to wait and see what what Atarix reckons about. <laughs>